All right, it's the rundown. Thursday, March 28th, even though Robbie Fox and I were just saying, it feels like a 23rd. Feels like a 23rd kind of day. Feels like a 23rd kind of day. Living in the past. Uh, today's rundown is brought to you by Factor. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, non frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started and get after your goals. Sorry, I'm thinking about Brandon Walker needs to get this. We were just talking about Brandon Walker eating <laughs> Chick-fil-A every day. Like, yeah. You can't be eating Chick-fil-A every day. You got you to gotta eat healthy. Factor meals. Two-minute meals. Fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. Pancakes, smoothies, Ooh. and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. No prep, no mess. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Head to factormeals.com slash rundown50 and use code rundown50 to get 50% off. That's rundown50 at factormeals.com slash rundown50 to get 50% off. I'll tell you what, factor meals delicious. They're amazing. All, every always single good, time. yeah. They're actual meals. Yeah. For Twisted History, shout out Twisted History, we got a promo code where we got the free ones. Everything was good. I got the pancakes, I got the smoothies, and then the dinner stuff's good too. I was hesitant about the pancakes. Like, I've kept this stuff good. going, so I got the promo code for like a free month or whatever. Yeah. Now I just pay for it. I love Factor. It's great. It's perfect. Great. Perfect. Fresh, never frozen Factor meals. What is it? Nah, I was going to do the promo code, but uh, run, fact, down run down 50. Okay. Let's say Factor run down 50. They're great. All right, college basketball, Sweet 16, starts tonight. You got Arizona, Clemson, UConn, San Diego State, North Carolina, Alabama, Iowa State, Illinois. Uh, how do you guys feel about tonight? I'm Are you done. I'm done with college basketball after Texas A&M broke my heart. Gig them, yeah. They... No, no no longer gigging them. That game, that game was wild. Uh, Houston, like, half their team fouled out. Their whole team, I don't know what their coach was teaching them, play, play basketball dirtier than anyone's ever played basketball in the history of the game before. Their whole team fouled out. Oh. Texas A&M hit the three right before, you know, it was buzzer beater three to tie the game. 30 seconds to overtime, and it was Are, over. You obviously didn't see the Grand Canyon Alabama game then. Because no, that I, wasn't basketball. I wasn't watching that. That wasn't football. That was American XFL gladiatorial football. Yeah. That's all what it was. Gladiatorial, I like that word. Just, just put them in the Coliseum and figure it out. That's what that game was, and it sucked because Alabama won. And, of course, at Grand Canyon, my bracket marker team it out. Congrats to Pat and Joey, though. 40K? 40K. See, I, College basketball. Congrats experts. to them. I'm That's glad awesome. they got it. But we were the last team alive with them. So they were actively rooting against us. Yeah. Hurt, you know? That was like, damn. I get it. It's 40 grand. I get it. I'm excited for UConn tonight, though. We got like half the companies at the UConn game tonight. Where did they... I want to know... I want to know from all the years, like, where you pick, where you draft your team. Does it matter if you're in like the top five? Or do people just get like lucky with the picks? Well, people get lucky, but yes, it matters. It, it is especially like, in a year like this year where off. NC State is legitimately the only underdog to make it to the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, there's like at least like three two or, or three. three. We yeah, yeah. Close though, we had the twenty second pick. We were pretty close. Yeah, I saw it happens. So like Oral Roberts yeah. made it one year. St. Peter's makes it, so you could get lucky. But this year, it was it was what you see as well. I would like to see the statistics on it. I mean, the same thing with this year. I mean. UConn, it's just chalk that they're going to win. I got a like feature on that a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, It's like UConn and Houston. That's all she wrote. UConn looks so good. Houston, I feel like they play so hard that they can't, they can't keep that up. Like they're going to fall, they're, they're going to fall the cliff. Like they did when, against Iowa State in the yeah, but that's conference the, tournament. That, that was the championship game. They got blown out. That was like their one blowout this year. They play so balls to the wall. Mm. Just freaking. What, 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 what was the quote from Hoosiers? Uh, I want to know. Like teams on the court. You can't handle the no, truth. No, 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 no. That's, God damn it. That's a few good men. What was the quote, Norman Dale? When, when, you're, when I'm done with them, I want to know what you got me taste like. You, you kidding? I am Queens Boulevard. Yeah. Dentine. Thank God. <laughs> my team, yeah. There's my team on the floor. Uh, my grandparents in the final scene of Hoosiers. No shit. Had, yeah, yeah. Really? That's good. Yeah. Wow. They said, all right, now. Dentine. There, extra. there it is. There are extras. And they're, uh, yeah. It was Dentine. Dentine. There you go. All right. That's Houston. So they had the actor take. That's the, Houston. <laughs> they had the actor take the final shot, and they're like, "All right, if this shot goes in or it doesn't go in, you act like you cheer like it did." Oh yeah. So, and it didn't go in. Apparently. Wow. Oh, I thought the story yeah. was a what? It did go in. No. No. Oh, no really? No. And they all cheer. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. 
He was apparently the only uh, guy, Jimmy, that didn't that, play basketball. Oh, I thought he was the only one that did. I thought it was yeah. the other way around. Yeah. Maybe we're getting our facts mixed up. Yeah, maybe we are. Maybe Shooter wasn't an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he was just, you know, taking a couple. I need to rewatch Shooters. I've only seen it like five times. I've never seen it. Whenever I was young. It's, it's solid. Um, is it the best basketball movie? No, the best basketball movie is the documentary about basketball. Fuck. What's that called? It came out in like 93. Air Bud? No, 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 good no. Good one. Joanna Man? It follows two kids. One, one kid who goes to like a prep high school and one kid who's like an inner city kid. Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams. Four years. I've heard it's of the, that. It's the best. Hoop it got Dreams. snubbed Hoop for Dreams. best documentary. Yeah, Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams is so good. It's up there. It's better than any basketball movie because it's real. Best basketball TV oh, show. Shots fired love and basketball. One yeah. Tree Hill. Nathan Scott for the Tree Hill Ravens. No? I never watched One Tree Hill. Great show. What did I, yeah, uh, the OC? No, I was never an OC guy. No, I, was, guy. I wasn't either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> UConn, UConn for the championship, UNC tonight, four and a half, responsibly. You said UConn? UConn for the championship, UNC But UNC tonight. tonight, you like them at four and a half, gotcha, responsibly. San Diego State, it's a rematch of the, the championship. That's only happened like five times. Cool. UConn's going to fucking yeah. light him. I mean, I wasn't saying. You fucking roasted him with that cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You, someone gives you a stat, you go, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. 39, 39-year-old yeah. father, yeah. too, just whipping out cools. Cool. Cool, oh, cool buddy. <laughs> All right. All right. Also the Be, speaking of guys that aren't cool. Yeah. yeah. Sam Bankman freed sentenced to 25 years in prison. Uh, FTX founder was found guilty of stealing more than $8 billion in funds from customers. Uh, the quote from the judge was, he presented himself as a good guy of the crypto industry, but it was just an act. He did it because he wanted to be a hugely, hugely politically influential person in this country. Also called Sam Bankman fried remorseless. Uh, yeah, he deserves to be in prison. If this was like a bank, like if this is the head of oh. like Chase Bank, they'd be like, oh, yeah, stuff happens. And then they'd be fine. They'd get a slap on the wrist and yeah. they'd go walk. They'd put him on a new they'd, bank. Yeah. They'd, yeah, you'd go steal money from someone else. Um, did, you, did you guys... Are you guys crypto? I, I'm not a crypto guy at all. It annoys me. I tune out the seconds people start talking about crypto in the office. <laughs> I do love the picture of him in prison, though. Did you guys see it? With all, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, like stand, he's standing kind of like gangster, like, like. Isn't he in front of like a bunk, like snapping a pose? Yeah, like, like, he, like, he looks, yeah. He looks kind of hard. Like it, prison, like it looks like the picture of KFC in high school, <laughs> like with all his black friends. <laughs> prison like changed him in like three days. He's yes. like a new person now. Yeah. Type in in prison, maybe you can see it then. But yeah, he, he looks like he's like one of the usual suspects. He's gotten right into it, like the night of guy, Riz Ahmed. What I like about this picture... Kind of looks like a good, a good Charlotte <laughs> out, photo album cover yeah, with a like, binge next. My favorite thing. thing about this picture is that there's one other guy without his face blurred out. Yeah, yeah who's that guy? Yeah, what did he do? <laughs> he requested to be in the picture, I bet. He's Sam's boy. I he's holding that. Sam's pocket. No, I don't want to say that. He'll get out and come for me. But Sam Brent Bankman Fried won't. He'll be 50, 57 by the time he gets out. Almost a 60 year old man. That's tough. Yeah. His Is girlfriend there... kind of looks like me. I, uh, <laughs> Have you seen her? Yes, I've seen her. She is. I, I have seen her. <laughs> and I wasn't going to say anything. I, no, I don't think uh, she looks that much like you. She. Uh, she, I could see it. Her head is very. She has glasses. <laughs> glasses. Her head is very rat. No, she. I, no, I, I, I could see it. Robbie, give, give <laughs> yourself right, 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 some credit. Yeah, that you, she looks like a like a gremlin. I've gotten tagged in enough tweets where I'm like, listen, I know what the public's saying. No. Uh, no just because she has glasses doesn't mean she. Yeah. Like you. All right. Take your, your respect. That. You want to take? Just, right. Would you take your glasses off? I think I'm a different guy. It's like you're, you're a new man. Yeah. I. I it's the glasses. <laughs> is 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 there anything? more than judges look forward to than writing their analysis oh. just burying people they're like oh i just get to skewer this guy <laughs> yeah. like let me pick the right word to do it yeah yeah especially a guy like sam Bankman. that'd be a great job for someone like francis when he retires oh, yeah. when he's done for barstool he could be a <laughs> ghostwriter for a judge yeah i like that just right before you put him into the clink destroy them mentally interesting all right, next topic. WNBA player Lexi Brown not happy about the Big Three's $5 million offer to Caitlin Clark. Wait till she hears about Dave's offer. Yeah, yeah double <laughs> that. Uh, yesterday, news leaked that Ice Cube was offering Caitlin Clark. I don't know if it leaked. I mean, that's... Uh, leaked. Yeah, that's huge publicity for them. I guess they want that. Uh, $5 million to play 10 games of the Big Three season. First off, you guys, have you ever watched the Big Three? It's tough. I haven't. It's, it's tough I, for me. Like... Iverson came out and played. 
<laughs> and you expected like uh, old school Iverson, Juke and Jordan stepping over everybody. Yeah, it, 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 it's like watching Mike Tyson box. Yeah, now. he kind of lost. It. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Stuff. But it's a, I still think it's a great idea. I actually right do shirt, think right? it. Yeah, it's, it's a good yeah, idea. It happens in the summer, and it's. I remember one day being. Just, a heat wave outside, and I was like, I'm not going outside. And I was watching Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah. <laughs> he still got it. He's, he's oh, still, he, he just. You're in the NBA. Mid range. Yeah, yeah it, I love Probably still going to have I'd it. Watch, I'd watch Jermaine O'Neal when he's 70 years old play still. I was not, like, no disrespect to the big three. I was surprised it was still a thing. Because I remember the first few seasons I, were pretty talked about, like on Twitter at least. I, yeah. It's been around for seven years. That's well, wild. that makes sense, because I think the first season. We talked to Ice Cube on the Mayweather McGregor red carpet because they had to give up. They had the stadium, mm. and Mayweather McGregor had to like, you know, buy it from Ice Cube, the big three. I mean, yeah, I'm amazed it's lasted this long, but apparently it's successful. And they got five million dollars to be offering Caitlin Clark. Yeah, but apparently, apparently there's a national team, a USA national team, where it's Jimmer Fredette and like two kind of nobodies. <laughs> I, I, I saw that yesterday. Jimmer Fredette is on the three uh, three on three. Yeah, three on three is part of the Olympics now. Which is, I mean, Ooh. yeah, I'm all for Put it out there. Prime Jimmer Fredette in a three on three setting might be the greatest like shooter of all time. Three on three basketball in the Except Olympics. Curry and Pistol yeah, 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 yeah. I was just trying to think Sandy. of someone else. I don't know. Yeah. JJ Redick was like the first person to come to mind. I think I'm just thinking. Yeah, I mean Mike JJ. Isaac. But I mean J- Jimmer. I mean you, essentially to have open space and Jimmer Fredette like. Coming straight out of BYU, I mean, it's that's unstoppable. <laughs> are they yeah. saying his teammates but are literally just the 20. sons of NBA players? Like, are they players themselves? I would hope, right? They're like, can you marry the son of an NBA Hall of that. Famer? Oh, Rick Barry's son is just one of them. All right, is he a guy? Is he a pe- someone people know? Rick Barry is all. No, 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 no. He's a son of Rick Barry. <laughs> Fair enough. No, no one knows these people. I did see a tweet. I can't confirm if this is true. But they said that one of these players shoots granny shot free throws. Oh yeah, well, oh, he's from yes. Yeah. USA, USA. Who was who was the guy Attacking in the NBA him. that was sh- 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 shooting yesterday free throws? And it was like that was like, insane. He's using one arm. Did you see that video? Sidewinding it though. Stephen check. It was on my Twitter. If you need to find it, he was sh- he was the worst free throw form ever. And the video is so funny because you hear the crowd, you hear everyone in the crowd go, "Yo, what?" Yeah. <laughs> People were like, "What I is mean, he I, doing?" I, I think we, with. Uh, I mean, Underhand has been around for, Watch for this. decades. What the? Oh, what is he doing? Ch- I don't, I don't know, know how we go in now seeing that. No, neither of them go in. Oh, okay. He, I mean, he can't shoot. And meanwhile, is, and meanwhile, you have Mantis chucking from his thigh. Yeah. Dude, Mantis <laughs> missed like 50 out of 2,000 shots or something. Crazy he, like he that. He might be the greatest free throw shooter on the planet. I'm not saying that with an exaggeration. Like, you, you, you make it to 99 three times and basically punk the the hundredth time because i think it was a blindfolded yeah each time and that's the only reason he missed but but just getting there three times like yeah, we hear frank we, we hear, hear frank. yeah frank is just yeah it's hard to focus but. yeah mantis is shot time. as pat bev describes heave heave oh, heave. Is a heave but he yeah, pure throw comes down here and he heaves it yeah, it's not a shot it's a in throw. every time he's wet i don't I don't know. A best player in the world might be. He's up free, there. I, I didn't say a best best uh, free throw shooter. Free throw shooter. I get that. Him versus Steph. I'd love to see it. I, I I would I would genuinely. Is Steph the best free throw like shooter? Like to though? see. No, probably not. Yeah. Like, see, I don't yeah know they, who do, it is, they do competitions for money. Free throw shots. Like he. He should show up and do, up LeBron do, up do, there doing it every time. Doing it, doing it essentially three to three or four times. That's impressive. Yeah. In like a. It's, it's, it's worldwide impressive. Because he's, he's an Indiana kid. He's definitely, no doubt, top 1% in the world. Oh, absolutely. Oh, if you can hit, yeah, 99 in a row, you are, yeah, <laughs> 0.0001%. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. true. But I, I don't know. I feel like there's got to be, like, I don't know, some NBA player that I, I, you're in the NBA. Hey, yeah, <laughs> if, if Steph Curry is locked in 100% of the time for 100 free throws, yes, he could do it. But there's so many... So many but, factors where you right. just like lose concentration for uh, one or five. Mantis is just fucking heaving. Yeah, hundred yeah. times in a row. Like, how can you stop that? We, well, we got a lot of basketball players now. We could do Mantis against Pat Bev against Mark Titus against potentially Ooh. Caitlin Clark. Uh, I, Imagine that dream blunt rotation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you taking of that group? Kate, Kate. I might. I might take Mantis. How could you not with the heave? I don't know. Mark Titus was really fucking good in that too, though. Yeah. 
There is also a video of Mark Titus shooting threes. The other but also, day. remember how so disrespected Pat Bev felt when Mark Titus' name even got brought up in front of him. About, uh, I feel like you would have to take the guy in the NBA. But there is a difference between sh- just shooting free throws true, and true. playing basketball. True. Where there's like so many aspects that go into playing basketball. You're right. And Kay- Kayla Clark getting $5 million, great for her. Getting a $10 million offer, offer from Dave, that's great and smart for Dave. I just find it hilarious that if she were to accept this $10 million offer, she would be the highest paid employee here like by far. Far, and Rico would still be the one taking charges on the court. <laughs> Rico's not afraid to put his hard hat on. And also, I, resp- I respect that. <laughs> like going back to the original story, I get why the Lexi Brown from the WNBA is like, what oh the yeah, hell, what the fuck? Like if one of us, it's like if Dave wanted to hire a blogger that he just saw for ten million dollars, I think we would be like, what the fuck? Like we've been here. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, so Spark- I get it. It's a you know a, a reaction. I think she probably wishes she didn't have that reaction on Twitter. And, you know, just said it in the locker room. Because now it's just a headache for her. Sparks player Lexi Brown responded to Ice Cube on Twitter saying, so no other women's basketball player has come to mind in the last seven years. Uh, instead of, I don't know, supporting the women's league that already exists, let's do this. In the middle of the NCAA tournament, men are hilarious. Well, but, uh, yeah, shouldn't yeah. be locked up in Russia, I guess. I mean, I, we looked up the, the max contract for WNBA. It's $250,000. Yeah, so crazy. she'd be making like 20 times that with Ice Cube's deal. 40 hey. times with... I, oh, yeah, I can't she, imagine she her turning definitely it has to do it. <laughs> Are I you feel nuts? Like, I feel like, you, I mean, you got to look out for yourself and get the money, but she'd be hated amongst, like, women. Women would be like, why are you looking out for us? At, at some point, I feel like... For the WNBA. What, 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 if she trying to, what if she takes that salary and spreads it across the WNBA? That'd be huge. That'd be, that'd be big. It's like Robin Hood taken from the rich yeah. and it back. Yeah. Because I think she's pretty well off as it is. She's got a bunch of sponsorships. She's yeah. in commercials. I mean, Caitlin Clarkson, uh... But then if she's State Farm, she's right. State Farm. I think she's in those Jake with State Farm commercials. Yeah. Oh yeah, she is. It's uh yeah, Jimmy Butler's in them. Reggie Miller's in them. It's as someone here pointed. I think as Ken Jack pointed out, kind of a fake Jake. Like this Jake hasn't really done anything to get famous. But have you have you seen him? He was. I think he was at Caitlin Clark's game and he was like Bro, dapping up like dapping Travis up Scott. Everyone he, everyone knows who he is. But like the original Jake is the reason why the commercial is funny. A hundred percent. This Jake I've never seen crack a funny joke. They just yeah they're just looking they want to they want to recreate the magic that Flo has. Yeah. And that AT and T girl. The OG Jake looked like uh, Patton Oswalt. I like that guy. He also, looked like a nerd. He was a real this guy player. looks cool. He looks like yeah. a cool guy. He's an actor. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think it's also possible Caitlin Clark could go to the big three and just get like stuffed? It looks yes. Terrible. That might not be worth. If she's playing against well, well. six foot nine former NBA players, on some level you just yeah. Can't but three on that. three though, you get that space. I think she. I think she. I think she'd hold her own. For real. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think Caitlin Clark's she's much younger and faster. Yeah. From the fucking logo to break records. Like you don't think she's gonna get enough space in three on three I don't to know. make it work? Her, her, I think her, she'd she's be on the court with Jimmer Fredette. I you don't think, think she's playing lockdown defense. No, I don't. All right. I don't, I don't think anybody in the big three league is playing lockdown defense. No, no, yes. no. I, I bet. I bet the dudes would once they're on the court with a woman. They're well, like, maybe, I gotta fucking. Yeah, maybe. Make sure maybe the boys Rick, know. Yeah, maybe Rick Barry's son, who like nobody. Yeah, you, you don't know who he is. Like he needs to make a name for himself. <laughs> yeah. Is it sexist to block Caitlin Clark? Allegedly. And, That'll be a narrative if if that happens. Ten games. They're 30 games, $5 million. 10 games, Ten $5 games, million. Yeah, dollars. Eight regular seasons. I feel like you could do that on the weekends. Be like, yeah, that's yeah, your, that's your side, side gig, yeah. side hustle. But I don't know. It kind of seems like it's like taken away from the WNBA. Um, multiple school boards are suing TikTok, Meta, and Snapchat for $4.5 billion for disrupting student learning. Uh, four schools in Ontario, Canada are seeking money in a lawsuit against social media giants claiming they have disrupted the education system. Schools have banded together in the lawsuit. Uh, websites have rewired the way children think, behave, and learn, leaving educators in schools to manage the fallout. I don't know. Couldn't you, you sue, like, cell phone companies? Just, that's too? it. Like, They're going to sue gum next? Big gum? Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like, you know how, I feel like uh, there was the, the cigarettes. There was, like, a massive lawsuit, and schools were getting yeah. all the money, tax money from that. I feel like that, that ran out like a couple of years ago, and now they're like, all right, fuck, we got to. We well, this is Canadian. 
Yeah. Which yeah. I, I, maybe they're getting paid in, in right. like, loons. Like I don't, I don't dis- I don't disagree with with uh, thinking that that social media is kind of just really. Yeah, they're, but, they're but, right. But but yeah. it's what can you do about it? Is it the social media's fault? Is it the government's fault? Is the it the, the world's fault now. for our, uh, still allowing phones in? Yeah. Classrooms? I, I don't know. Why don't you see, like, but why don't you see like Apple for making the iPhone? Are your kids on yeah. TikTok yet? My kids are not on TikTok. No. No, we are actually uh, visually anti-screen. Anti-screen family. Yeah. Anti-phone family. Yeah. yeah. Not, not, not anti... Not, uh, so we'll... No uh, Coco Melon. No Charlie's no, Color no, 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 City. No, 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 we'll, we'll have no, no, mostly iPads. All We're right. not an iPad at the restaurant. I mean, we, won't, we won't judge if anybody, that's the way you want to roll, that's fine. But we purposely try to limit screen time as much as possible. But of course, I mean, Miss Rachel's on. Yeah. Miss Rachel, yeah. Moana, you, you gotta let her fly. Uh, like, we're only human here. Do you know the whole You're Welcome rap from watching Moana so many times? First of all, it's not a rap, it's a great song. And yes, it is a rap, it for sure is a rap. You're well, Welcome's a rap. It's not a rap, it's a song. Da, 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 messing around. The tides, the sea, the ground. That was Maui just messing around. He's rapping. But that's not a rap, it's a song. Dwayne Johnson's singing. It's not a rap. He sings the chorus, but he raps the verses. Look, I see what's happening. Yeah, your face-to-face with greatness and acclaims. I know, bars. Yes. Yeah. Don't even know how you feel. My niece Adorable. Has, my niece has a Moana dress. Nice. And I go, who's on your shirt? And she goes, Moana. I go, Michelle Obama? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, Moana. She gets so mad. I, yeah. That's a good bit. Yeah. She doesn't even know who Michelle Obama is. Uh, when are you going to get your, like, I mean, I know this is a long way away, but when are you going to let your kid have a, a cell phone? I, have you thought about that? We, we, we have. They're turning three and one. Oh, okay, and yeah, so very long way away. We had some time. Yeah. I mean, who knows, five, ten years from now, it's going to be just virtual reality shit. You got chips, right? chips you know, in your head. head. Yeah. 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 Like, let's not I, worry about I it. I got until one when I was 13. What about you guys? When did you get a phone? Probably around, probably 15, 16? 15, when I started driving. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think yeah. I was supposed to get mine at 15. And my mom went to Verizon to get my sister a new phone, and it came with, like, a free, that's, you know. That's how they get you. So she came home with a phone. It was the Juke. I don't know if you remember that. It was the worst phone ever. It's, like, skinny, and it flipped up like Oh, that. yeah. yeah. It was, it was like, it's like the iPod Nano of, yes. of phones. Yep. Which, iPod Nano, another outdated reference, but, yeah. Yeah. Nostalgia <laughs> rundown today. Let's get your Zoom now. <laughs> it was oh, basically the, that, yeah. The Zoom kid on the bus listening to music. Oh, yeah, the sad. Hey, the Zoom pimped. It's always sad. What? Zoom pimped. For a while, uh, no, no, it never did. No. All right, never did. It, went, it was Disc Man, then fucking iPod. iPod. Yeah. If you had a Zune in there, your Zune didn't have fucking Brick Breaker on the wheel. Oh fuck yeah! What were the other games they had? They had the Snake. They had a Snake one, yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, brick Breaker was where it was at. All right, your guy, John Mayer. <laughs> John Mayer uh, denies having a threesome with Vanderpump Rules star Shania Shay. Sheena Shay. Sorry, I don't know Vanderpump. Rules. Uh, Sheena Shea, longtime cast member, has multiple multiple times alluded to them having an intimate relationship with John Mayer. Specifically, she came to be in, she claimed to be in a thruple with a girl named Stacy Adams, known for being a bartender on the hills. Uh, report says John Mayer is very annoyed by the entire thing and wants nothing to do with Sheena. Uh, she knows that telling people they hooked up well before the Vanderpump Rules episode aired. Yeah, I mean she knows what she's doing. She's getting that clout. John Mayer's resume is. So incredible of hot girls that are on there that he would never hook up with a Vanderpump Rules. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Because it, it's just too much of a headache. It's a he- this- Well, that was my first takeaway from the stories. You know how fucking annoying you have to be for John Mayer to publicly come out and deny that he had a threesome with two hot girls? Yeah, be like, I'm not, no, I'm not fucking. He's like, I want to make sure you know I did not fuck this hot girl. You know how much you got to suck for him to come out and say that? He's fucked everyone under the sun. He's John Mayer. John he's Mayer. had a, uh, endless tours, probably a hundred tours in his life. See, I think. I assume he's fucked. You know, some non A listers in his day, maybe like a Sheena Shea. <laughs> yeah. But she, I, I would assume he hasn't so fucked Sheena Shea like, for her to be like, so so I, during the 60s, just rolling around in mud and just like one might slip in there. Mayer was probably slipping into God knows what in his heyday, in, in I, continu- Continuum Mayer days. Oh, yeah. Now he's well, probably a little more. After Continuum, like Battle Study. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2009 John Mayer was. Oh. I don't think John Mayer but, now would mess with a Vanderpump Rule star. 100%. Back then in, that's in true. his prime, that's when he's true. younger, maybe. That's true. But when he was in his prime, But when he was in his prime, he was like Jessica Simpson, yeah. Minka Kelly. Yeah. And 
The, the line he says about Jessica Simpson calling her sexual napalm yeah. might be one of the best lines. Ever. Like, I, I pray that one day someone's like, oh, Vibs, sexual napalm. <laughs> the way that guy's fucking... Uh, Doesn't he have weird rumors too? Mayor's got Dumois rumors about him uh, like uh, jerking off in front of girls. No, like he I, brings girls back to his bus so, to fuck, and then he's like, "But I don't want an STD. Just watch me crank it." So and I don't know. I, guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that. I, I, uh, I've heard. I don't know if that's true. That's, a, that's, wild, not, that's a wild image you just put out. I, I follow the Dumois sometimes, or as Dave calls it, Demoximo, and. Uh, they call him Mr. Safe Sex. That's their joke name for John Mayer because apparently he's very safe sex guy. Okay, so I've I've heard he wants to like tuck you into bed and like it's like, it's like <laughs> let's sing you to sleep. I like, heard I heard he can hear colors. <laughs> oh well, well that's he, since Asia. No, he's come out and said that's not true. He's come out and said that's not yeah, true. That's the thing a lot of people have though. That's not like a, you're not a mutant if you have like it. A, I don't have it. But. I that sounds pretty mutant-y. That sounds like you belong in X-Men. I'm, no. I'm not saying in a bad way. I'm saying in a good way. Yeah, yeah, like synthesis. Evolutionary it's a, synthesis way. is a yeah. cool word. There's like a, a Jimmy Fallon interview where he's like, no, I don't have that. He's like, Kanye West like definitely has that. He's like a, a weirdo genius. I think I have one percent of it. Like you guys don't you guys don't see any color when you listen to a song. Like I picture songs as like moods with colors attached to them. I I don't I, I, I can I can I can I can have a certain feeling when I listen to a song. I think because of that album song, covers I, are influencing I me, though. I, I don't see the. I think I might be covers. in my own brain confusing Synthesia with like I associate Abbey Road songs with like a nice, beautiful Abbey Road type day. I think that's more to do with the album cover, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 you, what you just said makes me feel like I don't have an internal. No, that's what I was thinking. It, yeah, I feel like one of those like, weirdos. Well, they just came out like you don't have internal <laughs> yeah. monologue in your head. You're just like. I don't know. You're just screwed. <laughs> like yeah. like uh, Queens of the Stone Age, Songs for the Deaf, that whole album, that's a red album. Yeah. No? I got... <laughs> Nevermind is a blue album. Are you... Actually, but, but no, because of the like color... Teen, because but, it, but Smells Like Teen Spirit is a little more yellow, but that might be because of the music video for me. Well, not only that, the album cover is in a pool. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Is it just influenced my brain? This is an interesting. Well, do you think? Well, do you think? Of, do you think of baby dicks when you hear? No, I don't. Lithium. I don't. Lithium I do. On, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Uh, all right, Robbie Fox is a genius. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Uh, that's what you just mean. <laughs> no, no. You're a genius. No, that just to clarify, might be the complete opposite. Just to, clar- <laughs> just to clarify, what is on the Nevermind cover? There is a baby dick. Okay, cover, there yeah. you go. That guy's tried to like, sue. He that. tried to sue. He came. Oh out. yeah. Like every ten years, I think he tries yeah. to sue. He, yeah, he tried to sue, but you know, at every party that guy's been to, he's like, he's like I'm the Nirvana. I'm baby. the baby. Yeah, you've <laughs> seen my dick. Yeah. Uh, after show, you guys got anything? I mean, the Trent stuff. If we even want to talk about it. Uh, are, are we allowed to? They had to take it down off. Off four play. It was too graphic. He got bit by an alligator. In <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't be laughing. Golfing. He is. It was a chub situation, I guess. Not the fingers. It was his calf, but. So he's right. pretty serious. I think it's stitches. That's a, yeah, that's a meaty calf that alligator. A, into. Thank God it was his calf. The alligator chipped a tooth because they have dinosaurs in Florida. I think it was a smaller things. gator. Yeah. Was it Riggs? No, no, it wasn't Riggs. Um, it was. I think they were filming Breaking Ninety, and Frankie ran over with an iron, scared it away. I'm sure the video will be out eventually. Well, thank God. See, that, 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 now I know it's fake. Frankie ain't running towards any <laughs> with sad. any nine iron. <laughs> if we're being honest, we had nothing for the after show. We said, let's make up a rumor about Trent. Should we make up like a, a horrible rumor about Trent? Trent got bit by an alligator in Florida today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you're Dude, on, Frankie if you're on... is running so far away from that gator. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, possible. that was me saying, how far can I push the rumor? I pushed it over the line. I'm but if you're on, far. if you're on Twitter or any social media right now. Tweet at Trent and be like, hey, hope you're recovering well. well hope your leg your is gator doing bite. better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Trent flowers and edible arrangements and all yeah. that. Yeah. All right. That's the rundown.